Will this new and trending GPT help you become a better writer? Let's find out. All right. What's going on, y'all? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI to grow their companies, grow their career. So if you find this video helpful, please let me know with a like, a comment, and subscribe to this channel. But also go to youreverydayai.com and sign up for that free daily newsletter. So this is part of our AI in five. So looking at, you know, every day we do a roughly five minute tutorial of a different, you know, generative AI, uh, generative AI tool, tip, technology, et cetera. So uh, right for me was actually a uh, trending GPT in the GPT store. So decided to take a look at it. So um, let's go ahead. I'm going to use an example here, but I don't want a 3000 word uh, blog post. So we're just going to do an example. We're going to uh, use this GPT and then we're going to do the same thing in normal uh, chat GPT to see how it compares. So uh, this GPT says that it can help you write more tailored, engaging content with a focus on quality, relevance, and precise word count. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So I'm going to say write, write a 1000 word blog post about the future of SEO, specifically talking about how um, the impact of AI powered search such as perplexity and Google SGE may impact traditional SEO. This is actually um, did a full episode on this uh, the, the the other day uh, on the show if you wanted to go uh, and take a look at that. Uh, I'll make sure to to link that here in the comments. But uh, let's go ahead and let's see how this how well this does. So it says certainly I can assist with that. Let's start by outlining the structure. Given the word count of a thousand words, here's the proposed outline. All right. So uh, let's see. Looks like a pretty decent outline so far. All right. It's also saying here's about how many words are going to be in each section. And now uh, it has a draft introduction for 150 words. And then it says, please let me know if this aligns with your vision or if you'd like to make adjustments. So I'm going to just give one piece of feedback. I'm going to say, you know, please write in a more engaging human sounding tone. And I'm going to say also use browse with Bing to find recent SEO trends from 2024. And I'm going to say, and please don't only talk about Perplexity, I hate typing live, uh, perplexity and Google SGE. All right, so uh, we're going to do that and we're going to do kind of the same thing actually in normal chat GPT and we're going to see which one actually gives us better results and we're going to look at word count to see if this is actually accurate or not. All right, so it is finishing up uh, this blog post so we're going to take a look at it uh, here in a second. So let's go ahead now and we're going to start a new conversation in chat GPT-4. So again, we're going to give it two shots here. So I'm going to do the exact same prompt I used in the first one, write a 1000 word blog post about the future of SEO, specifically talking about how the impact, so same exact thing. So, and then I'm going to essentially have a follow-up prompt as well, um, using the exact same prompt that I use in the um, in the GPT version, which is please write in a more engaging human sounding tone. And then I'm also telling it to use Browse with Bing to find recent SEO trends. So I'm doing the exact same thing, the exact same process in normal chat GPT in the default mode GPT-4, as well as this uh, custom built uh, this custom built GPT as well. So almost done here. So we're going to go once this is done, we're going to run this second prompt, this second attempt here. Uh, I can see right now, this isn't the general chat GPT version. Isn't that great? It's very headline heavy and it's text light, uh, which is which is not a good look. So we'll see if the second one does better. But let's go ahead now. We're going to jump back into the write for me GPT. We're going to copy and paste. We're going to copy and paste this uh, and see how it did. So. Let's grab this introduction through the conclusion and we'll see if it, number one, did it get to roughly a thousand words? One of the big 
you know, kind of selling points or marketing points is that it is more, this right for me GPT is more precise with word count. That's something that obviously if you've used chat GPT, uh, it struggles with. And most large language models struggle with word count mainly because they think and process in tokens. All right, so let's go ahead. Uh, we're jumping into a word counter. So here's the GPT version. Let's see how many words it is. All right, so uh, words is 478 words. So not that great. Um, let's let's double check here. So yeah, this is the second take. It didn't write uh, a thousand words. Let's see even if the first version was, oh no, let's see here. Yeah, so not great. So in terms of word count, at least word count alone, um, yeah, not, not that great. I'm just double checking here. Yeah, we did get everything. Okay, so now let's jump into the normal chat GPT one here. All right, and let's see how it did. So there's the first one. Here's the second updated one. Obviously, the word delve is in there because that's large language models at their finest. So let's copy that. Let's jump over. Let's see if it did a better job. So uh, the right with right for me or yeah, the right for me GPT uh, got 478 words. Let's see how well chat GPT did. 582 words. So a little closer, but neither of them got to a thousand words. Not surprising, but um, I was a little surprised that this uh, this right for me GPT didn't do at least one of the things that it promised, which is more accurate uh, word counts. So didn't really pass the bar here. So let's even, I'm gonna quickly judge uh, the quality of the writing. I'm not gonna you know, make you sit here and, and wait for an hour, um, but let's just look at the introduction of each. So now look, looking at um, the GPT introduction, it says the landscape of SEO is undergoing a significant transformation driven by the advancements of AI technologies and changing search engine algorithms. These developments are reshaping the way digital marketers approach SEO with a focus on creating more user-centric, engaging, and authoritative content. So, you know, not fantastic uh, content, but okay. Um, I'd give it, you know, looks pretty standard, looks fairly AI uh, generated, you know, no, no burstiness, no um, cadence changes, anything like that. So let's now take a look at the chat GPT version, uh, kind of your, your, your default out of the box. So let's look at the, uh, it looks like this is maybe the intro. Uh, so as we delve into the world of SEO in 2024, it's clear that the landscape is evolving rapidly, influenced significantly by technological advancements and changing user behaviors. Here's a more, okay. So I actually think that's just uh, actually chat GPT responding to me and not the actual blog post. So it looks like this is probably the intro here. So uh, in 2024, showcasing real world experience in your content is becoming increasingly important. This includes real world examples, case studies, and data from personal research. Demonstrating experience through author bios and social media profiles is essential. This trend underscores the importance of authenticity and credibility in, creating, in content creation, making it crucial for SEO success. So uh, neither of them wrote content that I would necessarily be like, oh yeah, this is a good blog post, but I will say this. Although the right for me, uh, the right for me GPT did actually a little worse in our one test of word count, I think it did do a little bit better, at least in writing a little bit better uh, kind of blog content. Um, it was structured a little better. You know, it had the outline, it followed the outline somewhat closely. I'm sure if I went through and went back and forth. Uh, with this GPT a little longer, it would provide me even better results, but at least out of the box, you know, kind of a one shot prompt, so to speak, uh, didn't do super well, but at least it did from the, the tone in the writing of the content, it little did a little better at least. So, um, not fantastic. I'm not going to be dropping everything. Um, you know, I have to use this right for me, uh, GPT, but again, if you're struggling to get at least better sounding content, it could be worth looking at, even though at least from one test word count, not super accurate. All right. So, uh, I hope this was helpful. If so, please go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for that free daily newsletter. Let me know in the comments too. What do you want to see next? Uh, appreciate y'all. See you back for another AI in five. Thanks y'all.